What up, everybody? Yes, so Mike wants to do a quick intro. We out here by the main road. So y'all know it's a lot. North 301. A lot of road North noise Florida. behind us. We were driving down the road. We're going to start calling these segments our random roadside stops. So we were driving by. Mike saw this old church sitting back here. And it caught his eye. Not much. I'm pretty sure it's going to be locked up. Just looking at all these wasp nests and stuff. Spider eggs. I see that large cocoon. Let's see if I can see that on camera for you guys. See that large cocoon back there? I don't know what that is. I didn't think it'd be open, guys, but it's actually open. I just tried it and it opened and I was like, oh, it's open. I really want to spot this. Huh? Oh wow. Oh, maybe they're gonna start. Maybe that's why they cleaned it off. But it's like, it might be I don't work. think anybody's gonna start. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of what damage. It's a lot of mildew up in here. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be open. We can go out the back door. I know, right? I'm gonna tell y'all what. I just finished eating. This is a oh, spot you want to come in after you get there. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, but Baptists can be. Yeah, missionary Baptist church. Here's a picture. God. Yeah, this church is uh piano still works. It's just crazy how they got these seats lined up. You know, somebody staged this, though. Look, the communion. We got the communion plate and, and things. Oh, wow. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Bathroom. Well, we would do an EDP. Or... 
Well, they say I'm a faithful voter. I pledge to vote November 6. I'm a faithful voter in this year's election. October 27th. Doesn't say. Just gives the general date, but not not the year. Two thousand eighteen. Yeah, I saw that. Somebody probably was squatting here for a little bit. It's just so much water damage and really? mildew. Like somebody was trying to save it with the bleach down there, but it's only so much bleach can do. Right. You wanna go out the back here and go to the house next door? Well, the shell. So, how'd you like your uh, random stop of the day? Hey, it was a treasure mine, man. You got this church with everything still in it. Everything pretty much Set still up. in here. I mean, I think this was staged, though. I think somebody. Yeah, I didn't know if it was staged. It yeah. Still had everything in it, you know? That's one thing I learned about Chris. That's why. You guys, when we went to the Karate Man's house mm -hmm. to get the background of right, right. But there's the places, to get the background from you. right. And then, um, if he can, he will try to straighten the place back up. To so, I guess we can do a Google search and see. You know, the building probably just costs too much to repair because it's definitely an old church. Oh, I thought that was clear right there. You could walk across it. Huh? It's just a shell. We were hoping it was more of a house. This is our first stop of many more to come. Um, but yeah, I, I told Mike we're going to start a new segment called Random Roadside Stops. We'll hit y'all back up. Yeah, this is just, later. It was unique though. You had everything in there, you know. I was shocked the door was open. I was surprised. Well, the bathroom was still open, so yeah, it was still open.
Welcome everybody, how y'all doing today? What up? Today we're at a very special spot. It's called the Healing Springs. It's God's property. Um, the legend about this place is that the British was led here by Indians and they're supposed to drink the water to heal their bodies during the war. And the property what ended up was being will to God to keep from being sold. And as you can see, you got a lot of springs, um, faucets that's coming out the ground for the spring water. People actually come here to get, get the water to drink and it's supposed to heal their body. So as you can see, all around us, you got so many different faucets in, in the screens here. Back in 2011, me and Gina came here and it was before we started, you know, YouTube and all that type of stuff. We came and we was only taking pictures. But not before we started the ghost hunting thing. Right, right. But um, we started taking pictures and we ended up catching a British soldier on one of the pictures. In? In the woods here. In the woods. And um, and once you dream to turn the camera around, you can see there's no way a, a person would have been back there. Mm -mm. And uh, we ended up losing the footage. Um, but so we decided to come back here today and do a little recording and take get us pictures some water and, and <laughs> see what happens. And get us some water. So, yeah. You, your thing ain't big enough to get no water in. Go ahead and get the water, child. <laughs> you ain't got no jug, no five gallon jug. Oh, you wanna drink it? Wanna drink some of it? You ain't even drink none. It's hot. Mm -mm. Hot taste. Like spring water? Mm-hmm. Let me taste. Take like water out the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then actually me and my brother had came out here one time and um, we've seen a little um water moccasin. So what? A water moccasin. I mean Willie had came out here? Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, but he was on the other side over there. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, you doing? All Yeah, but back here was where we caught the soldier. There's no nature trails. There's like a regular trail around the cross. People leave rocks and coins and stuff. Yeah, we caught a heart. I do have a copy of the heart still on our uh, webpage. So I'll include that. I wish I would have kept the copy of the other image that we caught. It's out there somewhere on some website if it's still a valid website. Maybe some type of natural. What is that? Mint. Oh, mint, really? Yeah, that's mint. Yeah, that's mint. Mint? Mm-hmm. Huh. You go like, that is a market, like, fancy. Oh, yeah? Yes. It's so expensive in the markets. So all the little heart-shaped leaves, like. Yeah. This one. What do you do with them? You make tea or something? Yeah. You eat. Eat them? Just eat them? Yeah, you can eat like with the barbecue. Oh and yeah? Yes. Oh wow. This smells good. Let me try. Does any of those? Like this? Yes. Yeah. I go there oh, yeah. before. This 
three dollars from the Asian market. Really? Yes. Wow. But they go good, you know, all the time. Yeah. You know why I, I have at home too, but I'm good like here. Here they have a lot of water. Oh, where it's a lot of water yeah. it grows good. Wow. Right, right. So it really helps? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. I'll tell you, it's a, it's a different than it's really. You see, you drink bottled water, mm -hmm. and you just drink this right here, your body feels a whole lot different. Oh, yeah? It feels way more hydrated. All right. That's crazy. We used to live out here. How long ago was it? 2011. Wasn't nobody hardly coming out here. Now it's like packed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I've seen this place change from what it was even a house up there on the corner. Yeah. yeah that's how long I've been coming out. Uh, the church right there, they've always been there, but I know when that one was running real hard. Mm-hmm. They didn't even have this many of them out here when we came. Uh, Crazy. It's good though. Yeah, you know, you just, I don't even like it cold. Yeah, just, yeah. Just drink it straight. Yeah, I get a, a pork bottle and just turn it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, they got a bag full. Of, that'll be soft. That's smart though. My wife, she ain't really know about it. I said, look, baby, that's the good ball I've been growing up drinking right here. Yeah. We have seen a lady on the news, an older lady said it helped her with her knee problems. Mm -hmm. Older body, yeah, so. My ex wife's son, he had bad, something was going on with his feet when he was young. Came out here, dipped him in it, let him drink the water. Probably went away. Wow. Oh, wow. Like when I get ready to make a, a tea or something like that, Oh, I use this water here. Yeah, this place is like booming from what it used to be. Oh, y'all take it easy. Yeah, y'all yeah, have a good one. All right, bro. All right. All right. You yeah, too. All right, guys. So there you have it. God's Healing Springs. This place is booming. This thing yeah. used to be. This, yeah. <sighs> It's, it's a lot, a lot of Busier. people coming out here, yeah, and um, and as you see, like people come with bags and bags of bottles just to, to get, the, get yeah. the, I guess because it's it's pure water. It's coming from out of the ground. They say it's healing springs, like Mike said. Uh, we don't know if it's a legend, if it's a true story. I'll have to do a fact check on it, but there was a couple of injured soldiers british soldiers and the indians actually helped heal them brought them to the springs to help heal them and they drank from the springs and they cleaned their wounds and stuff and it had because it had healing properties and supposedly it helped them and they went on their way and this is where we caught an actual soldier and it was in color. That yeah, was the crazy color, part. Yeah. It was, you could see the red and white, you could see the uniform, the but hat. It was so different because we was using, we actually, we still had the phone we was using. I mean, I'm sorry, the camera we was using and the camera just totally malfunctioned. Yeah. Um, and then we finally got it to come back on we call it a silhouette of a heart on the other side of the little spring there, which we still have that picture, but we don't have the picture of the um, soldier. So yeah, that was interesting. what I do with my little and mint plant? I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, I always wanted to come back here. And we did today. Always, it is packed. Yeah, I always wanted to and come it's back here. free and open to the public, anybody at any time of day or night. Can come out here and fill up on some healing spring water yeah and like you heard the man he's been doing it since he's been a kid yeah, yeah. 
he had one of his stepkids come out here with health issues and it helped him so even even if you go online a lady said that it helped her i think with a blindness or something yeah her blindness That's or her knees knees something it is a blessing for something free to help people and by the guy willing this property to god there's nothing nobody else can do with it but God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a, a blessing. They can never take the land away right. and build over it or anything mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. like I said, when we came here years ago, it used to only be um, one. I think it was one faucet. One faucet. And now. you want to call it. It's. But we're going to have to cut this short because we need the GPS to go to our next location. All right, guys. And Thank y'all for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. So we were riding by and we saw this. Guys, look at this. So Mike agreed for us to explore. Yay! We don't randomly explore like that. We'd be too scared to go by ourselves. <laughs> Being sarcastic. No, ain't no steps though to get up there. Damn. see what's in here. Luckily it's pretty pretty chill today. Hopefully I ain't gotta worry about no bees or wasps. Lots of cow animals in here. Yeah why would they have that blocked like that? I mean that's fresh wood too that's not too old. Right. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I don't think we can go in it. Oh. What do you see? A what? Watch out for what do you call it? Sewers? Fence line. There's thorn, thorns, yeah. I got on pants. That's what Mike just met with. I got wrapped up in one, but I got pants on for a change. You wanna walk right now? I wanna walk this close, but it might be more thorn. It hurt. You okay? Yeah, I'm ass like a bitch too. <laughs> Interesting, man. Wish we could get in. Why not? The back is open. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? looks unstable so we ain't gonna stress getting in huh oh yeah somebody's little trailer another little makeshift barn back here not sure step maybe tripping you up they, they grow in a half circle. Yeah, I see another one on the side. Victorian style. Oh, 
my own picture of it. Is that a mirror? Oh, that's a window. Yeah. Window. I thought that was a mirror right there. I think it's a window to the back. Quick walkthrough for you guys at this exciting abandoned location that we ain't find nothing at. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> she can't do it like me. <laughs> do it like you do it. Once again, we have Proach <laughs> abandoned structure dun, dun, dun. that we don't know nothing about. But this is what we do. Yeah. This is kind of what we do. But all right. And nah, I, I, I like ghost hunting more. You know. I'm getting a Jeepers Creepers type of vibe. Yeah, here. that's why I said this. <laughs> we're on this back road. Yeah. We're on this back road. We're on a country back road. So, and, and we don't know what type of neighborhood yeah. area this is. Thank y'all. Love you guys. Be safe.